Hello, this is a companion video for my other video about why you should make animated abstracts. In that video, I basically talk about how you can use PowerPoint to create a GIF. And I give you a screenshot of what you need to do, but I figured I would create just a super short video where I just actually walk you through um, how to actually create that GIF. So. Just in case you are new to my channel, I don't have my video on right now, but I am Dr. Echo Rivera and I help academics, scientists, researchers, and similar professionals create effective and engaging presentations. Basically, the goal with my channel is to end death by PowerPoint. <laughs> so yeah, let's hop into it. So that first step that I talked about in the other video is design your... Um, your slides, basically just design slides that you want to be in your GIF or your animated abstract. And this is kind of what I was showing you, like you saw this happening in the video. So I had this slide, right? And I have a bunch of other slides and then an end slide. And literally I'm going to hide these slides because I don't want those in the GIF. Here is all you have to do. <laughs> this video is going to be so short. You go to file, you go to export, you go to create an animated GIF, and then you choose how many seconds to spend on each slide. And then you just choose the quality you have right now at the time of recording this video, you've got four options, this extra large full HD 1080 at 24 frames per second. Ooh, that sounds really nice, but that's going to give you a gigantic file size. <laughs> okay, just to warn you, these file sizes are pretty huge compared compared to what you get when you create third party, when you create GIFs through third party websites. So I usually have to stick to the medium, which is 480 at 15 frames, 15 frames per second. So I usually do that. And then you literally just hit this button for create GIF. You choose where you want to save it. All right. And then oh, you can see I actually already have it. So I'll just go ahead and say yes. And that's it. And it's where you saved it. And what's really cool, and I mentioned this in the other video, any animation or slide transition that you have in your slides will be in that GIF. That's part of why the file sizes are so huge. At least that's what I suspect. All right. Well, hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out my other PowerPoint tutorials and just videos I have about improving your effective presentation skills, how to end death by PowerPoint. And don't forget to check out that description box below because I've got free courses and a newsletter and blog posts and all sorts of stuff to help you out. And if you liked this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss when I publish a new video. All right. Well, I hope that this helps you create a GIF using PowerPoint. I hope it helps you create an animated abstract. And if you do, make sure you tag me on social media so I can check it out. And um, yeah, again, links in the description below. All right. Have a fabulous day. Bye.